Hey everyone, Drew from Monkey's Tropicals Adventures here to do another shave and shave review on It smells good to me So what are we going to talk about? So today's video is brought to you by the fine folks at Find Accoutrements. So they reached out to me, uh, I've done some collaborations with them before, and they reached out to me recently about this new release, uh, Latigo, Latigo, I hope I'm pronouncing that correct, which is inspired by Kanitsa 10, which came out in 1924. It's a real leathery type scent. So they basically took that scent and they put it into this badass aftershave. So you got some talc, you got some diesel, you got some leather. Um, it's a very interesting scent for sure. I like it, it's very reminiscent of something classic, something your grandfather would have worn. Uh, I liked it. Um, I haven't used it yet for a shave, but I shaved my head and I put some on and I liked it. I got a nice uh, longevity on it. I got a couple hours, like four, five hours, which is a lot for an aftershave. Um, so I liked it. So we're gonna be pairing that up with uh, Sterling Soap's British Leather, which is inspired by English Leather. And so what I like to do with Sterling, because I have so many soaps, I like to buy, uh, buy their trial pucks, and then I buy one of their tins, and then I just rip the sticker off and I make my own tin. I've used this before, but it really does smell like English Leather. So we're gonna pair these two bad boys, these two leather scents together. And then we're going to be using, uh, get our beard nice and happy and ready with some Crown Supreme Glide. And then we're using this Merc, I know wet shaving products, I'm cheating on you, but I'm using my Merker razor that I won from the razor company a while back. It's stealth, it's, it's really sexy. Um, but I pulled this out the other day, did a quick shave and thought I'd use it in this video. And of course I'm using this High Mountain Badger Brush by Sterling. So I'm going to dunk that in some water. And uh, let's get some of the Supreme Glide on. Cue the music. All right. Okay, so like I said, um, it, the, it's inspired by Kanitsa 10, which came out in 1924. Diesel, talc, leather, it's main notes, and it's strong. It's definitely strong, it's very reminiscent, it's very masculine. Um, I like it. All right, let's make some shave soap, folks. How about we just get to it? Cue the music. Beautiful leather scent on that sterling, British leather. It's gonna go perfect with this aftershave for sure. All right, let's take it for a test spin. Cue the music. We have it, folks. First pass. So, if you ever watch my videos and you go, What's this asshole doing? Why does he shave so haphazardly? Uh, there's no rhyme or reason to where I start, how I lather, how I shave. I just get the job done. Having a good time, relaxing. This is my little moment, my moment of zen. Anyways, uh, I love the consistency of a sterling soap. You always get nice, good quality lather. Um, 
not thirsty soaps in my opinion and uh, they smell great and they're affordable so anyways all right let's make some more lather and finish up the shave cue the music Do some editing, get the soap on, off my face, and I still don't get it all. All right, last pass. Here we go. that'll do it so the reason why I don't use this razor a lot is it's much more aggressive for me it's much lighter so it flows super easily and I always worry and I only really cut myself I think I don't say cut I got some nicks but I like it because it looks super sexy and it's stealth um, and it just feels great in my hand but the weight I like of the uh, the wet shaving products razor so the, the El Grande. Okay, the man of the hour, the Latigo by buying accoutrements. Remember, um, inspired by Kenitsa 10, the 1924 scent. It's a leather diesel talc type scent. Very masculine, super, super masculine. This is something my, my grandfather would wear for sure. All right, here we go. Oh yeah, it's got a, it's got a nice little, is it mentholated? A little bit of menthol, but not over, not, it's not a heavy menthol. My eyes aren't watering or anything like that. Um, so the scent comes across like you go into like an auto shop, you know, and they're working on your car and everything. It's just got that real like, like motor type smell. That's probably the diesel. Uh, and then that leather, it's like some broken in rich, rich leather. And you get a little bit of that talc, a little bit of powdery. And th those are the main notes that really stick out. It's a very, uh, very masculine scent. Um, it's a very, I get some, some little bleeders there. A very iconic type scent. It's, uh, it's definitely got an old school feel to it for sure. Um, but I like that. I, that's the whole thing with wet shaving anyways. We're, you know, we're tapping into the old classic way of, of shaving, the way things were done. So uh, I enjoy the scent. I think it's great. Um, as far as in my lineup of uh, fragrances and aftershaves and all that stuff, I don't have any leather aftershave. So this is perfect just for that. So uh, I really want to thank Fine Accoutrements. I think this is uh, definitely something you want to look into to let it go. Um, Again, leather, diesel, some talc, like powdery. It's good stuff. So I wanna thank Fine Accoutrements for working with me again. This was really awesome. Please check out this, uh, this aftershave. It's really nice, really old school, timely, masculine scent. Please check out all these other great companies that I showcased here in the shave today. Uh, please like and subscribe. Follow me here on YouTube. Leave in the comment section maybe some of your favorite Fine Accoutrement aftershaves or shave soaps. Follow me on Instagram at Monkeys Tropicals Adventures, and I'll see you again for another shave or fragrance review. Take care.